Today, there are over 7 billion people in the world. One in three people are online or have access to the internet. Virtually all of them will use the web, a place made up of over 1 billion websites and trillions upon trillions of web pages. The web is an enormous place, but only 1 in 400 people are actually involved in software development. In a Venn diagram, the set of people that are online and the set of people that are involved and work professionally as software developers is this tiny little intersection that make up less than 10 million of the world's population. So for every 300 people using the web, there's one person building something that you're using and possibly even relying on every day. The web is useful because it allows us to tap into a lot of information very quickly. It's also empowering because it makes it possible to connect large crowds very quickly with virtually no cost. It gives you a voice and it makes you a part of the conversation, regardless of where you are and who you are. The developer community is a thriving one and it's out to solve very hard problems. We need more developers because we have an infinite number of wants. We want to build things. We want to create things. Some things are about experience expressing our interests, others are about capturing the interesting things that those around us are saying at a time when it's most impactful. You should learn to program, not only because it's a great career move or because it's incredibly satisfying to build something that can touch virtually anyone around the globe, but because learning how to program can instill in you a greater understanding of how the world works. But why PHP? PHP is just one of many languages you could learn, and I'm certainly not saying you should learn only one. In fact, learning PHP will likely put you in a position where you have to learn many other languages like SQL or HTML or CSS or JavaScript or regular expressions or something else. Though you have to start somewhere, and why not PHP? It's been used by some of the largest websites in the world, like Facebook and Tumblr. It powers some of the most popular wiki and blogging software in the world, like Wiki media and WordPress. It also runs the smallest websites in the world. In fact, PHP powers the vast majority of the web, which puts it in a very unique position by comparison to a lot of other languages out there. It has a huge community of supporters and contributors that have kept it thriving for over 20 years. So it's not hard to get started or find help when you get stuck. There is no shortage of free information and free open source code to get you going. But those are all the reasons why it will be easy to learn when you have no prior knowledge or experience in programming. But that's okay because you're going to learn a lot about programming on the way. If you're challenged too much at first, you'll likely grow anxious and run away. If you're challenged too little, you'll likely get bored and move on. The trick is to be challenged just enough, and PHP strikes a good balance for you.